hemolytic jaundice, congenital, known also as hereditary parasitosis HS. This is a genetic disorder of the red blood cell membrane clinically characterized by anemia, jaundice yellowing and splenomegaly enlargement of the spleen. In HS the red cells are smaller, rounder, and more fragile than normal. The red cells have a spherical rather than the biconcave disc shape of the normal red cell. These rotund red cells parasites osmotically fragile and less flexible than normal red cells and tend to get trapped in narrow blood passages, particularly in the spleen, and there they break up hemolyse leading to hemolytic anemia. The clogging of the spleen with red cells almost invariably causes splenomegaly. The breakup of the red cells releases hemoglobin and the heme part gives rise to bilirubin, the pigment of jaundice. The excess bilirubin leads to the formation of gallstones. Even in childhood, there is also often iron overload due to the excess destruction of iron-rich red cells. Hereditary parasitosis is most common in people of Northern European ancestry. It often shows up in infancy or early childhood, causing anemia and jaundice. The bone marrow has to work extra hard to make more red cells. So, if in the course of an ordinary viral illness, the bone marrow stops making red cells, the anemia can quickly become profound. This is termed anaplastic crisis. Laboratory studies show evidence not only of many parasites but also increased numbers of reticulocytes young red blood cells hyperbilirubinemia increased blood levels of the jaundice pigment bilirubin due to the breakup of the red cells and increased osmotic fragility of the red cells. HS is due to a deficiency of a protein called angarin. Anchorins are cell membrane proteins thought to interconnect integral proteins with the spectrin-based membrane skeleton. The anchorin of red blood cells erythrocytic anchorin is called anchorin R or anchorin 1. It is represented by the symbol ANTA1. The HS gene, that for ANTA1, has been mapped to chromosome 8 and, specifically, to chromosome band 8p11.2. HS is inherited as a dominant trait so, if a person with HS reproduces, their child irrespective of whether it is a boy or girl has a 50 minutes and 50 seconds chance to have HS. The treatment of hereditary parasitosis is to remove the spleen splenectomy. Although the red cell defect persists, the breakup of the red cells hemolysis ceases. Splenectomy, however, is a hazard in young children. Young children without a spleen are at increased risk for overwhelming sepsis bloodstream infection particularly with the new macacus bacteria. Splenectomy is therefore usually postponed if possible until the age of three years. Before having a splenectomy, Anyone with HS should have the new macaco vaccine. Persons with HS or another cause of brisk ongoing hemolysis should take supplemental folic acid. The prognosis outlook after splenectomy is for a normal life and a normal life expectancy. HS is also known as severe atypical sparasitosis. Sparasitosis type II.